Hi, I'd like to show you today how to use badges or achievements in Blackboard Learn. We will start by creating a new badge. Now the badges are actually created under course tools on the achievement menu. You might, use, you might need to navigate to uh, customization and then tool availability to uh, enable uh, this menu. But we'll go ahead and click on the menu to create a new achievement. Now these achievements can be integrated with the Mozilla backpack and I'll demonstrate that in a moment as well. So we'll start by selecting a custom achievement. Our other options is to have a course completion achievement which also includes a certificate, certificate that can be printed and uh, we have also the milestone which is a badge only. So this custom achievement allows us to have the certification or the badge. For the needs of this demo, we'll create a couple of achievements for uh, Microsoft tools. So this class is going to teach about Microsoft uh, Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft Access. We'll go ahead and create uh, this first one called uh, Microsoft Excel. So the idea here is that students who complete the Microsoft Excel exam at 95% or more are going to receive a special credential, mini credential, a badge that they can later include with a resume they can include out of the public Mozilla backpack interface to uh, perhaps uh, support uh, their uh, resume for, for a job. So we'll go ahead and uh, select uh, achievement location. Now this achievement location is actually um, an area where uh, achievements are stored as sort of a technical items. So you could put this into a hidden folder um, to uh, make this easy here. I'm going to actually create an area called uh, badges and I'm going to make this area invisible so it's only visible to the instructor and uh, this is where we will go ahead and, uh, and uh, store, uh, store our badges. So we'll go ahead and uh, uh, renavigate here. Okay, so for the needs of the demo, uh, while I'm actually doing this, uh, I will show the link and then I'll hide it afterwards. Uh, so at the moment the link is available, we'll go to go ahead and place badges here and uh, uh, we'll call this uh, a badge and here we're going to call this uh, master level Excel. So this is for Microsoft Excel. All right, well, with this in place, we'll go ahead and say define the triggers. So the triggers within Blackboard Learn uh, can be rules, just like adaptive rules. It can be a grade, it can be a review status, uh, or membership in a particular group. Uh, it is important that you keep the rule name uh, reasonably uh, clear because it will appear uh, as the criteria on the Mozilla badge. So we'll go ahead and uh, uh, put here maybe Excel exam. And so now we're saying that uh, for the specific uh, Excel exam the student needs to reach uh, a result of 90 percent 90 or greater. I don't think we need to use the percent here. And uh, we'll add this as a rule. Excellent. The rule is added and we'll say select reward. So now we are in the process of developing the badge. Issuer, this is where you can put your own name because uh, you proctored the exam and so you issue the credential. Uh, and I upload it out of uh, an open clip art, um, an icon that represents uh, Excel. And now we'll go ahead and say yes for publishing to the Mozilla backpack. And of course you can add your own icons by browsing uh, into your, your own computer. So we'll go ahead and save that. So now I have an Excel badge. I'll uh, quickly go through a creation of one more badge. Uh, this is going to be Microsoft uh, uh, Access and uh, we'll go ahead and place it in the same badges area. Call that a badge and we'll call that master level MSN. 
axis. All right, define triggers. In this instance, it's going to be access uh, exam. We'll go ahead and uh, select the access exam and uh, greater than 95%. And let's select the award. All right, I'm the issuer. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and scroll down to select an icon and also to say publish to Mozilla. All right, so at this point, I have two badges that are available. Now, I'm going to now hide the area where the badges are stored, and instead of uh, having students perhaps use the standard uh, course tools area, uh, with so many different tools, uh, achievements are right at the top, and that's the area where we want students to navigate to see their badges, they will see all the achievements that are still to be earned and then the ones that they earned. But I will go ahead and create a new, uh, a new link. It's going to be a tool link to achievements and I'll call it something like my badges and make this one actually available to students. So now they don't have to search through the system and uh, so my badges will be available right there. Okay, so now we are going to grade some exams, Microsoft Access and Excel, and then we'll log in as a student to go ahead and um, preview the badges. So I have the student here which is taking the Excel exam, it's going to receive 100%, and uh, perhaps the Access exam didn't go so well. All right, let's see. Uh, how this now works on the student end. Uh, I am now logged in as the student, navigate to the class, uh, and you can see I received a notification that I earned an achievement. And so I will go ahead and now navigate to my badges. Now, as you can see, the uh, access achievement has not been earned, but the Excel is ready to go. So I can preview the details uh, about the achievement. Uh, I can uh, uh, preview uh, the information. Finally, I can publish the badge to Mozilla. And so we'll go ahead and uh, log in uh, with another account. We'll go ahead and say next. Put in the password. All right, so this is all part of the Mozilla uh, infrastructure for badges. We'll say sign in. And now we are asked if we want to accept this badge. Now the criteria URL is available, so anyone who wants to check what the exam uh, uh, settings uh, were, they can do that. And we'll say yes, we want to accept this badge. And I can even visit my backpack now. As you can see, I have uh, some other badge I've earned earlier in this uh, badge, which now can be placed into uh, a collection. And uh, let's say that this is my collection for Microsoft Skills. And uh, I can make it public. And in fact, I will receive a direct URL so that I can include this perhaps as a link from my web page portfolio or I can print this uh, and add to, to a resume. So now, uh, as the student, we can go ahead and uh, again navigate to My Badges and uh, preview the results. So badges are a great way to show uh, granularly the progression through the course of a student across projects and examinations and create a trail of skills earned. And these skills then help to identify uh, the broad uh, experience that a student had at the university level. Perhaps some of these badges include uh, voluntary uh, pursuits and some uh, perhaps in student groups or in out-of-class uh, uh, pursuits. Or these can be classroom projects which perhaps feature specific skills. Uh, like uh, team 
a building. Uh, so it allows us basically to provide a very granular list of skills that student is mastering while pursuing the official credentials um, like master's degrees and bachelor's degrees. So hopefully the uh, introduction here to the uh, Mozilla uh, backpack uh, was helpful in how we can connect the Blackboard uh, infrastructure and the Blackboard credentials with an external source for credentials uh, uh, with, within Mozilla backpack. Thank you very much.